Hello everybody, this is Russell, and we're at a new site that we created called PluginsForPros.com, and we have a new WordPress plugin that we want to show you. It's called WordPress Site Frame. Now, real quickly, what this what this plugin will do is it will let you iframe any page um, that you want or any URL that you want, excluding some URLs like Facebook doesn't allow iframes uh, their pages to be iframed, but for the most part. Any URL that you have, you can iframe uh, into your main home page of your WordPress site. And so, what we're going to do here is, I'm at the, um, I'm going to just go to our home page here. This is our home page of the site. We don't really have anything on it yet. I'm just using the site for a demonstration. We've already installed the plugin, so we're just going to come over here uh, to the back office of the WordPress site and go to the plugin administration panel, which is where we're at. You'll see here a demonstration on how to use the plugin, which is basically the video I'm making right now. So let's get to it. Now, what I'm going to show you is the pro version. We do have a light version um, that will just basically let you iframe your home page if that's all you want to do. The pro version will let you iframe your home page. It will also let you iframe uh, any combination of pages that you select and as well posts that you select. So I made a couple test pages and a couple to, and a test post. So first thing that we're going to do once you've installed the plugin is it's disabled automatically so that it doesn't iframe anything until you start configuring it. So the first thing we're going to do, let's just do an iframe on the front page. So we're just going to select that and then we're going to come down here and in areas two through uh, 2.3, there is going to be some options for SEO. Now, typically for a regular iframe, uh, you don't get a whole lot of SEO benefit from it. So you would mo more than likely not want to mess with this, and you would use the feature that um, I'm going to show you here in a second. But under number two, title, keywords, and description, you can use the existing values from the page that you have to put in here, or you can enter them yourself. You just uh, you select custom and enter in the page title. The page title is what shows up in the browser title tab. Um, your meta keywords, a description, uh, you can also put that in there. If you select this, it will pre-populate whatever information you have in there. We don't have anything in there right now. Um, but then, then, it, then it would just put it in there for you. So number three is where you're going to put the site that you want to, the URL that you want to show up. So we're just going to put in here Warrior Forum. And we're going to choose the classic iframe method. Okay, now what that does is it'll basically just make the site show up um, without any scroll bars or any borders. We're going to save the change and then we're just going to come over here to the main page and refresh and then we should see the Warrior Forum showing up. Alright, so there's the Warrior Forum. Ah, shows that I'm logged in already and you can see there's no additional scroll bar here to navigate the site and you can navigate anywhere within the forum. So we'll just go to forum, starting from zero, somebody's post, so on and so forth. Okay. Now, if you look at this, let's look at the page source. Okay, so we're going to go and look at the page source. This is what the page. This is what Google will see. As you can see, I didn't enter any SEO information here, so. That there's not going to be any SEO benefit using the method that we use there. So let's go back here and use the iframe on top of the content. Okay. And we'll come over here and refresh. Okay. And now we'll look at the source code again and now this is what the source code on the main landing page or the page that I'm iframing looks like we have some code in here that um, 
it will not your SEO. Typically, you know, you would want to have your site SEO'd correctly so you'd see all your meta keyword description here just like normal. Um, so that when Googlebot and all the other search engine bots come by and spider the site, they don't see any different information than what you entered. So this is how you retain your SEO value, especially if your site is currently ranking on the first page and you don't want to lose that ranking. Let's go ahead and test out um, this option only on selected in pages and posts. So the way you do this is you come over here and you hold control down and you select um, any pages by clicking. So I made a couple test pages and we're going to also test uh, do a, a post as well. So we're going to do two pages and two posts. And then we're just going to save our changes. Okay. Now I've already brought up the two pages and the post. So I'm just going to refresh here real quick. Go through here and refresh. Okay. And as we go back, we can see test page one shows the warrior forum. Test page two also shows the warrior forum. And the post, which is in the category for plugins, also shows the warrior forum. Okay. So a great way to use this plugin um, if you if you if you have a page that you want to drive traffic to for maybe like building a list uh, or an opt-in or an offer, um, you don't necessarily have to use the overlay. You can use the regular iframe because you're not worried about SEO since you're driving traffic to it. So if I had an opt-in page, you know, um, let's say I have uh, 50 sites or 10 sites, and I want to, I don't have, I, and I want to opt get people on my list. Well, I can create a landing page, take that URL, use the plugin on those 10, 15, or 20 sites for a specific page that I want to use, and iframe in that landing page URL on all those sites. So I don't have to make 50 different landing pages. I can use just one landing page and drive traffic to those sites if I want to, one site, 10 sites, or 20 sites, or however. That's one way to use this plugin. Another way to use this plugin is the reason why I had it actually developed is because I have clients who I rank in Google Places locally that say, hey, Russ, uh, you know, you created the WordPress site for us and it's ranking and that's all great, but we want the site to look exactly the same as our corporate site. Can you do that? Well, yeah, you can do that. The old way to do that was to create an index.html file and then put the iframed content in there and then upload it to the server and then find the index.php file and rename that so that it would disable the landing page or the home page for WordPress so that the index HTML file would show up. Well, that became a hassle and a pain in uploading and changing the code in the index.html file and making sure that all the settings were correct and so the site looked right. So that's why I had this page, uh, this plugin produced. Another reason why is because sometimes I would have uh, a page or a post ranking on the first page of Google for my keywords and not the home page. And so people weren't getting delivered to the page that I wanted to them to, which would be the home page. And I got tired of dealing with 301 re redirect plugins. So I just iframe in the home page of the clients into that particular page or post that was ranking so that they still got their same branding. And then if that and then if the if the home page would start ranking over, you know, the, the, the post or the page, then I could just home, iframe in the home page. So no matter how, whatever scenario there is, it doesn't matter. You can get branding for your client site if they, if they want, um, doing it, doing it that way with the plugin. So that's a great benefit of this plugin. It's also great for affiliates. If you're an affiliate marketer and you have a great ClickBank product or commission junction product, that you want to promote and the landing page or the vendor is converting really well and you have optimized your site for that particular product and it's ranking but you you know you're not spending five or six thousand dollars on selling this product on a sales page creating your own sales page for it you can just iframe in the vendors sales page with your affiliate link and boom when people land on your site 
and click the buy button, you still get the credit as the affiliate. So that's a great another great way to use the the plugin. So it's for Google Places people that want to brand their client's site into the into the WordPress site. It's great for using a, a, a landing page on several different sites or pages, and it's great for affiliate marketers who want to iframe in their product, their vendor's product page. Uh, so this is a pretty versatile plugin, and we hope that you like it. Thank you very much.